Four Corners RV Resort near Nashville, Tennessee. That's where we went over Labor Day weekend and absolutely loved it. Two night stay was $306 Mm. plus some and we'll get to the cost of why this weekend was so expensive was. in just a moment so this is near nashville on percy priest reservoir uh, also along with elm hill and nashville shores like that whole area it was a fun weekend but we spent some money we booked this trip uh, about 60 days before and i felt like we got lucky because we got site 81 which is waterfront right on the water love this campsite all concrete all around the whole campsite, every site is concrete. Um, but I think we lucked out with Site 81. It was a gorgeous view. Yeah, it was right on the water and you could see the water. There wasn't anything impeding our water view, but we were also close to the marina, which mm -hmm. we'll get into uh, as, well, as good as well. But we were literally like what, five minute walk to the marina. Mm -hmm. Not even five, a minute so, and a half. And so that was mm -hmm. nice. So it was kind of, um, as far as like where it was at in the campground for the things that we did, it was great. Well, let's go for a bike ride. Turn my bike on. All right, here we go. Yes, I do. There we go. All right, guys, we are back on Jarrett's bicycle tour of Four Corners RV Resort and so I'm doing this on two different cameras at the same time so I'm pretty sure I've seen that co coach on YouTube but these sites are actually really big and you can see there's a couple of boat docks you can use but the, you know but to be a new campground they did this one right I like the size of the site I uh, appreciate that, that you're not on top of each other. Most of the sites can see the lake. So we're at Piercy Priest Reservoir, just uh, west of the east of the Nashville Airport. Far enough away that you don't hear traffic, but the airport's a good, a good uh, kind of um, like marker point location point or whatever how you doing good, sir. i'm doing good a lot of nice campers in here one thing i will say about this campground <clears throat> they want your campers to be 10 years young or newer or you got to send a picture in before they'll let you in no tents no tent camping here no pop-ups no truck campers none of that good jazz this is kind of a more of an RV resort. Nice beach there. People must be migrating out of the pool to the beach. A lot of nice campers here. You can rent those little houses over there. They're like little, um, I don't know, they're floating cabins. They're kind of cool. It's a solitude. This Allegro's pretty. Mm-hmm, that is pretty. Those guys don't mess around, they're towed to three-quarter ton diesel. Very nice campground, there's Valerie riding with me. Great day for a bike ride. Got a little pavilion over there with concrete picnic tables. All the sites here are pretty level. I um when I leveled our sport trek, I just had to level it front to back. Left to right was in pretty good shape, so good looking off square body. Good for you, buddy. Like your truck. Georgetown, that's what we started in, Class A wise. There's my wifey.
I like these fifth wheels, but man, they all look the same. But I do like that they went away from the tans and went to the whites. I do like the white a lot better. Man, look at this. Look at that view up here. This guy's thin red line. That must be a fireman. Like the wheels on his truck. Go right back over and see what those are. Alright, and we're going to come up here by the entrance. So, they got the little general store there and the pool's right there. This Kona Ice truck. This is how you come in. The guy from Texas. We'll go back this loop. It's windy. Hopefully, it's windy. It ain't too bad. A lot bigger campground than it looks to be. This is Labor Day weekend, and I'm surprised there's actually a couple of empty sites here. These sites up here maybe don't have much of a view. You can rent these little cabins. Those cabins are cute. I don't think there's one campsite in here that's not concrete which is nice keeps your um, keeps your camp clean if you look right over there you can see the blue roof that's the marina in the marina you can rent jet skis and uh, pontoon boats they have a restaurant that they're working on remodeling or something is what they said I'm not sure exactly what that was but it is Close this weekend. Well, there's half a million bucks. There's no discovery. Probably the best main camper out here. Besides the uh, Airstream. Yeah, very nice camera round. Kind of. I'm doing this on two cameras, so I'm curious what this thing looks like when we uh, get to let me know what it looks like once we uh, get the video edited. So I'm shooting these on Insta, Insta style, Insta brand cameras, not a GoPro, and my head cam is an Insta Go 3. So let me know what you think. So, and right back there is the there's a trail that walks you over to the uh, walks you over to the marina. And see, and this is coming up on where we're at. So this is kind of the campground tour. I wonder if we'll get neighbors there. Anyway, now we're back at the old sport trek. Let me know what you think. Check out this camp site. Isn't that awesome? So the um, the campground is really nice. So the, they had a super friendly staff. We, the manager, the, actually the like the campground manager, she would on a golf cart and swing around. I was talking to everybody. Had a they had a new nice pool, salt water pool. I had a beach area with like these hammock swings and some Adirondack chairs. So if you did if the pool was crowded, you want to go to the beach. They had a place for you to go, go down the lake and swim in the lake. Yeah. Um, they had several um, docks that you could if you're staying at the campground that you could use if you brought your boat or your jet skis. Um, you could fish off of them as well so it was just a lot of nice amenities and you get to the sites the sites for a new campground I think they said the campground is what three years old mm -hmm. were like really big yeah I thought so too bigger than Elm Hill for sure seems like they build these new campgrounds man they just they don't want you to put your awning out so they just put you right next to your neighbor and, yeah and so that, that was nice and like all the waterfront view well I, I think you could pretty much see the water from about any of the campgrounds but the water side campgrounds I guess is what you would call it I mean you, you had like, I don't say 360 because your camper was in the way, so we'll call it 180 degree view of the water pretty much. And there wasn't really anybody on top of each other, and it was just really just nice. And you had a good space behind the camper, green space, and I really did like that. That was a big, that was a big plus for me. I loved that there was a lot of things to do. So you're right next to the marina, very close by, so obviously there's boat rentals, jet ski rentals, you know anything you can do on the marina their restaurant isn't opening yet until spring of next year mm -hmm. 2024 um, but they have a great gift shop down there with lots of snacks and 
basically anything you'd need for fishing gear or on the water gear. Uh, sunscreen, fishing poles, t-shirts, sunglasses, a lily pad if you want one, um, ice cream, everything. ice cream. Yeah. So whatever you need. They got the Marina restaurant when it opens. We'll have the largest floating bar in the state of Tennessee. Yeah, it looked really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I was actually a little envious. They were having like a private event that night, and mm -hmm. we were like, "Oh, can we just like bring our dinner over here and eat?" <laughs> you know, and they were like, "No, we're having a private event, and you can't even sit there right now until it's open." But it would have been a nice place to like bring lunch and sit, but mm -hmm. not yet. Another thing I love about this RV resort is on the holidays or special events or special weekends, um, they bring in food trucks. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things ever. I love food trucks, especially good ones. In this case, they had Nashville chicken and waffles truck and there was a taco truck on site that weekend. So I had already planned because they're really good about sending emails about what's going on that weekend and what to expect. So we already knew up front that these trucks were going to be there and at what times in the Kona ice truck. Kids love that one. It's like, I wouldn't even call it shave ice. It's crunchy snow cone stuff. And slushies <laughs> on of a truck. But they were there too. And we knew ahead of time what to expect. So I didn't even have to plan meals or grocery shop a whole lot. We got the few basics we needed for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we had planned on eating the Nashville chicken and waffles and the tacos. And we which did. Which were all very good. Like the, the chicken was really good from the Nashville truck. The tacos were really good. We had them for lunch and dinner, and it just made the experience that much easier. You can just enjoy being out on the water and then just running over the truck to get lunch when you're hungry. It was it was great. So mm -hmm. I love that about this RV resort. They also brought in like a big water slide for the kids. So there was plenty of things to do. Our only dislike, or at least my only dislike, was the lake bugs. Yeah, they were bad. Yeah, we had our American flag light up that night, and I think that was a big mistake mm -hmm. <laughs> because every bug in the campground came to us. <laughs> but we ended up turning it off, and it was these little white, like, gnats. And, I mean, you couldn't open your camper door for half a second, and they're inside. At least they weren't mosquitoes. You know, they didn't bite, but they were still kind of a nuisance. Mm -hmm. So, total cost of our two-night stay, let's just break it down. Not going to lie, this weekend was expensive. But we spent some money. It was. First, the two-night stay, 306 including tax. Kind of high, but I guess what we expect for an RV resort. One of my uh, things I love about um, this campground was it felt like it had luxury amenities, but without, you know, the requirements of what campers can stay there. Because typically on the luxury campgrounds, as you guys know who've camped a while, you have to have like a newer class A, maybe a super C, you know, to have those kind of amenities. Mm -hmm. But this place, I felt like had the amenities outside of like, you know, a special tiki hut or something, but you had all concrete, full hookups, water view, all the things, nice pool, beach area, but without the requirements of having to own a certain RV to camp there. That was cool. Another thing we liked about this campsite was the charge to site purchases, which in this case for us ended up being another $107 <laughs> because it was so easy to just grab cards or a Snickers bar or they had Dippin' Dots in their RV uh, campsite store. And you could just say, hey, I'm at site whatever, whatever. And they charge it right to your card, like a hotel. It was pretty awesome. Olivia would get on her e-bike and say, "Hey, can I have Skittles <laughs> or can I have this?" And we're like, "Yeah, whatever." And she'd come back, and and, and then, the, it's kind of like that scene in um, Home Alone too, or they get they get the hotel bill. You spent dollars on <laughs> on room service, <laughs> you know? Yeah, for us <clears> it was 107 <throat> bucks. I don't know what we bought, but firewood and Skittles. Firewood was included in there. Mm -hmm. 40 bucks on Nashville chicken and waffles, 80 bucks on the taco truck, dun, 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 dun. and $675 on two hours of jet skis. <laughs> yep, yep, we rented three jet skis and it cost us $675. So that was a huge chunk of this day, but our grand total for the weekend was $1,208, not including the gas to get there. We're about to start a GoFundMe page. That's an expensive two-night stay for a weekend of camping, but had we had, had our own jet skis, fine, whatever, but whoa, whoa, what? We would have spent fifteen, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on jet skis, so a rental every now and then, fine. 
They're just so pricey. They are. I don't know how much we'll use one, but it was nice because, I mean, Bob and Elizabeth come down and we were able to go and just rent them. We were able to walk right over to the marina, jump on them. We rode for two hours. I think after the two hours, we were pretty much... We were exhausted. We were pretty much... Well, none of us were used to it. And, <laughs> and it's funny, when you rent something like that, it's not like you just get on a leisurely... Like, if, you, if they were ours, you'd probably just like rode around the lake and look around because you're used to riding them. Mm -hmm. But instead... You know, you're on the you're on the jet skis, and you know, so it's two hours of donuts and turns and falling off because you're just acting like an idiot. <laughs> in the beating down sun. In the beating down sun. Mm -hmm. It uh, was totally fun. Definitely worth doing. You know, to to have your family there over the holiday weekend, for sure. Memories were made, and hey, is that priceless? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's pricey, uh, sure. Now yeah. we had a great time, and and I think. Uh, the kids will remember that one, the ones that came on this trip with us. And For sure. Is the red light flashing? Huh? Do what? No. Yes. Is Your red light is flashing. Ah, oh, that don't work. I can see. Ready? Yeah. Push. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. I'm bombs heavier than you. I'll be back. Oh. Wait a minute. Just push him in. Stay 